the hotel itself is not my favorite, but I mean, it was only like 70 bucks a night. So, you know, you get what you pay for sometimes. Good morning, y'all. I am here on the Carnival Conquest. Uh, that was actually my hotel last night because I'm just getting off of one cruise and going up for another. I have a couple of days in Orlando before I will board the MSC Seaside in Port Canaveral for a seven night Caribbean adventure. Um, so stay tuned for that. Today's vlog will include everything from me leaving the Conquest this morning, uh, going up to Orlando on the Amtrak train from here in Miami and uh, anything I get up to in Orlando and through boarding the ship. So this vlog is gonna cover a few days uh, worth of stuff. Um, and then, uh, you know, the next one will be all of that first day on board. So yeah, I gotta get off this ship. They're ready for me for a while now. Um, and my cabin steward's probably like, get out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna figure out my next steps on how to get to the rest of this adventure. So stay tuned. We'll talk soon. So I left Conquest and I made my way down and then called an Uber to take me to the train station. This was actually my second time going on this route, although last time I was going the other way because I came from Jacksonville and went down to Miami, and this time I was going from Miami up to Orlando. Amtrak isn't the most glamorous option by any means, but it only cost me like 30 something dollars for the one-way ticket, which was easily a quarter of what a flight would have cost. So it's definitely a good way to keep expenses down if that's an option for you. Once on board, I grabbed some lunch from the dining car and we were underway. It takes a little over five hours to get there because of all the stops in between so it's not really the fastest way to get there either but before I knew it we were pulling into the Orlando station and I got off. I had checked a bag with them so I had to wait a little bit only about 10 minutes for them to unload everything and then I grabbed my bag and called an Uber to take me to get some food. Down the street from my hotel was a Del Taco which I'm a huge fan of so I grabbed some quick fast food there and then made my way over to the hotel. It was a little after 10 p.m. at this point but check-in was smooth and painless and so I made my way into my room to call it a night. All right y'all so I'm walking across the street because I'm actually right across from uh, Surfside, which is uh, one of Universal's like on-property hotels. And so I'm gonna walk over there and catch their bus and head over to Universal that way. I'm close enough to walk, but it's a little bit of a far walk. So if I can walk across the street and get on a bus, that'll save me. Maybe not some time, but it'll save me some effort uh, overall. So yeah, I'm here in Orlando. Ready to do some stuff today. And then I'll be boarding MSC Seaside tomorrow morning. So anyway, let's go do it. <laughs> Definitely time for some food. Um, so I'm gonna do that first thing when I get to City Walk and then I'll head into the parks. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> we'll talk soon. y'all it is cruise day finally we've made it to embarkation this morning i've stayed the last two nights here in orlando i did universal yesterday this is a hotel called monumental movie land 
Uh, it's on International Drive, great location. The hotel itself is not my favorite, but I mean, it was only like 70 bucks a night. So, you know, you get what you pay for sometimes. It wasn't bad. It was fine for me to rest my head here uh, for the last couple of days, but um, I'm not sure I'll stay here again. We'll see. I really like Rosen Inn down by Lake Buena Vista, which is by Disney Springs. When I stay here for the parks and I'm not staying on property, that's my go-to place. And I was hoping this would be similar, but it's not. Um, so anyway, uh, it's all good though. I'm not sure where we're at in the video. I would say at least four or five minutes or more. Uh, so if you're still with me, still hanging in there, uh, thank you so much. I know these like pre-embarkation um, adventures aren't always as fun as like the ship stuff. Uh, so yeah, but I will be getting on a cruise ship today. So the time has finally come. I'm about to Uber to the airport and then I have booked GoPort um, for my round trip shuttle service. I used them about a year ago and was very disappointed because they lost my luggage and then didn't do a whole lot to help me find it. So. Um, I had sort of been like, they're dead to me, but uh, I'm giving them another shot. Hopefully that's not a mistake because I was literally on a cruise this exact time frame last year when this happened. So hopefully history doesn't repeat itself. Um, there are other shuttle services and I considered using one of those, but I don't know, something told me that GoPort was the one for me this trip. And if it works out, then maybe I will use them moving forward uh, when I need to here in Orlando. So yeah, I'm gonna, you know, finish packing up my stuff. I didn't really unpack all that much, so it should take me like, you know, another five, 10 minutes, and then I'll be heading out. So let's go. I'll take you with me. We'll see what we see. We'll do what we do. And of course, we'll talk soon. So I grabbed an Uber to the airport, which wasn't too terribly far away. If I had had someone with me, we probably would have Ubered directly to the cruise port. That would have saved us some time. And then we would have just done the airport transfer on the back end of the cruise. But since I was by myself, it made more sense to do a round trip shuttle. And as reluctant as I was to try GoPort again, it was a pretty quick and efficient service, at least for now. I made my way up the escalator and into the terminal to do the embarkation process. From my experience, it's always really quick in Orlando. So within 30 minutes or so, I was making my way up the gangway to board the ship. It's always a cool feeling walking up a gangway towards a cruise ship, especially one you've never been on before. Of course, I've been on MSC Seascape, and that's a sister ship to this, but that's a newer ship. This is the first in the class, and you can tell the differences as soon as you step on board. They definitely made some updates and upgrades on the newer versions of this ship, but MSC Seaside was just as sparkly and impressive as I was expecting, so I made my way up to the main buffet, and I grabbed a slice of pizza and a couple of other things before making my way out to the jungle pool. The bar there seemed like a total vibe, so so I grabbed a Dos Equis and hung out for a little bit until they made the announcement that it was time to go down to our rooms. All right, so that last clip was very windy. So if you didn't get anything from that or if I omitted it completely, I am back in my room for the muster drill. I gotta watch a safety demonstration on the TV and then I gotta go to my muster station and have them check me in and all that. Um, MSC still does a more or less traditional muster, so we're all going to our assembly station at the same time. I had a little bit of a hiccup with my room key, but they got that fixed. Well, my door, I guess, they needed to replace the battery and the little sensor. I was a little nervous because I thought it was gonna be like MSC Seascape where I had like malfunctioning lights and stuff for the first three days of the cruise, um, but everything's good now, they fixed it. They even issued me a new key card just in case, so everything should be good on that front. Um, I got the safety briefing going on behind me or well the video is you know playing on a loop for now um i have a dos Equis, and yeah but anyway um embarkation was pretty smooth pretty like i just walked right on through i even got to go into the diamond line which made it even faster and um yeah so all good so far but yeah so the rest of today uh will be in a separate video coming out very shortly so stay tuned for that i want to thank you all so much for traveling with me be sure to like comment share subscribe all those fun things we'll talk soon and y'all have a good night